Did you wake up with pain in your joints? Are your hands swollen? Or do you experience tingling and numbness in your hands? Do you have difficulties with daily activities such as opening a jar, opening a door, or even getting out of the bed in the morning? Do you want to know what is going on with your body? Could this be rheumatoid arthritis? In this video, I'll discuss the most common signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, from joint pain to stiffness to carpal tunnel syndrome and more. Rheumatologistoncall.com Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Gurnita, a board-certified rheumatologist, the founder of Rheumatologist on Call. If you are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel where I educate people about rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune diseases, and the best methods you can take to thrive with arthritis. So don't forget to subscribe and never miss one of my videos. If you are following this channel for a while, welcome back. I'm very excited to share more information with you. First, what is rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is the most common autoimmune disease affecting our joints. It affects approximately 1.5 million people in the United States. Some people are more prone to develop rheumatoid arthritis than others. There are risk factors including biological sex, genetics, and even your lifestyle choices, including smoking, alcohol consumption, poor nutrition, or poor dental hygiene that will predispose you to rheumatoid arthritis. For example, females are twice as likely to develop rheumatoid arthritis compared to men. All of this can increase your risk to develop this condition. If you want to know more about arthritis, check this video in my channel. It is essential to recognize the signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis early on, as if you leave it untreated and if it's undiagnosed, this form of arthritis can lead to severe and disabling disease. Treating early and appropriately will get you back on track and your chances for a better or a normal life are much bigger if your diagnosis is not delayed. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that this video is just for educational purposes and does not offer you medical advice and does not substitute a diagnosis. So let's get into the symptoms. Joint pain and swelling. Many patients with rheumatoid arthritis develop gradually pain and swelling in the joints. Most affected joints are the joints in the hands and the feet. However, other joints like your shoulders, your hips, your knees can be also affected. The joints are painful, swollen, and many times are tender to touch. Tenderness with palpation or pain when we touch your fingers is another common symptom. Swelling in the hands is another common symptom, but sometimes patients do not know if their hands are swollen or not. Here is a tip. If you cannot remove your rings in the morning, that means that probably your hands are swollen. Other common symptoms are difficulties to open a jar or open a door. The pattern of rheumatoid arthritis disease is very specific. It is always symmetric, so you're going to have both hands, both feet, both shoulders, both knees, and both ankles affected at the same time. In rare situations, the pain can start in one joint, for example, the knee, and that could travel to other joints in a migratory pattern. So it's going to move from one joint to another, from the knee to the shoulder, from the shoulder to the wrist, or to the hands. Morning stiffness. Many patients experience morning stiffness, defined as slowness 
or difficulty moving the joints in the mornings. This occurs when trying to use your hands, getting out of the bed, or if you sit in one position for a long time, you're gonna start experiencing the stiffness again. The stiffness is usually prolonged, usually lasts more than one hour, and it does improve if you move. Sometimes when patients do not know if they are stiff or not, or for how long they experience stiffness, I ask them to keep a diary of their symptoms, to pay attention to their symptoms, and then come back and we analyze those um, symptoms. If the stiffness goes away with movement, this is again a sign of inflammation, which is very common seen in inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common and painful disorder caused by compression of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel, which is located in the wrist. Most of the time, it is caused by overuse of the joints or repetitive movements, such as typing or excessive writing. However, this condition will affect only one hand in most of the times, and there are just a few situations where bilateral carpal tunnel can be seen, and one of those is rheumatoid arthritis. Other situations, like hypothyroidism, pregnancy, and diabetes, but to stay on topic, we'll focus today on rheumatoid arthritis. But you have to tell me if you want to hear more about carpal tunnel syndrome in autoimmune diseases, and I'll make a video just about that. So, as I was saying, carpal tunnel syndrome is another common symptom in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, especially if it's bilateral. And this is because the swelling in the hands and inflammation in the wrist will put a strain on the median nerve causing bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome. Dry eyes. Most patients suffer with dry eyes, which occurs when your eyes tear cannot produce enough moisture. This can cause redness, vision problems, and a stinging, burning, scratching sensation in the eyes. If we receive complaints about dry eyes, we usually send the patients to um, an eye doctor to be evaluated for their lacrimal secretion to make sure that they produce enough tears. We do call that secondary Sjogren syndrome. Some patients will develop redness and inflammation of the episcleral tissues or the white part of the eyes. We do call that episcleritis. These patients will also have redness, itching, pain, and even vision changes. A more dangerous eye complication in patients with rheumatoid arthritis is called scleritis, which is inflammation of the deep episcleral and scleral tissues. If this is left untreated, it could lead to something more dangerous called scleromalacia perforans. This is a very severe complication of patients with untreated rheumatoid arthritis. And unfortunately, this can lead to vision loss and potential blindness. While I was a rheumatology fellow, I saw one patient with scleromalacia perforans, which, is, which was not very easy to treat. This is why it's essential to pay attention and tell your doctor if you do experience any problems with your eyes. Fatigue. When you hear the word fatigue, you might think about being tired, but fatigue is more than that. It's, is something that persists. It's that state of tiredness that interferes with your daily activities. Fatigue is not caused by your lack of sleep or you know too many activities that you did in a day. So fatigue does not usually go away after you rest or after you sleep. Let's go back to rheumatoid arthritis. As many patients with rheumatoid arthritis feel 
worn out, drain of energy, and they experience this overwhelming and uncontrollable tiredness that we call fatigue. Some patients, they actually lose interest in everything. This is fatigue. But the question is, why does it happen in patients with rheumatoid arthritis? There are many reasons why RA patients experience fatigue. The first is because of chronic inflammation. The constant fight between your immune system that is on the mission to fight your own body will tire you out. So the fatigue will be persistent as long as the chronic inflammation is not controlled properly. Another reason suspected by some researchers is that fatigue is caused by antibodies affecting our nervous central system. There are also other reasons for patients with rheumatoid arthritis to be fatigued. For example, joint pain can cause poor sleep, which for a prolonged period of time will lead to fatigue. Also, dealing with an autoimmune disease can cause stress, discomfort, frustration, and even depressed feelings. And depression is also associated with more fatigue. There are other causes like vitamin deficiencies that can cause fatigue or anemia, but all of these causes should be sorted out between you and your physician. There you have it. Those were the five common signs of rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and valuable about this prevalent autoimmune disease. If you are concerned about rheumatoid arthritis or any other autoimmune disease, please consult a rheumatologist who will be able to diagnose you and treat you appropriately. If you are interested to learn more about rheumatoid arthritis or other autoimmune disease, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and you will be notified about upcoming videos. And I have many exciting topics that I planned. For example, I'll talk about rheumatoid arthritis and fatigue. We will discuss in depth about what are the causes that will cause fatigue and how can you fight it? How can you make it feel better? We will also discuss topics like, if I have RA, will I pass it to my children? In that video, you will discover if rheumatoid arthritis is a genetic disease. So don't forget to subscribe to be notified about the next videos. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.